sleeping through this book here. The Seven Principles of Golf by Darren G. I don't know if you can see that. Read it. This book is highly recommended. Now, I was at the bookstore just leafing through some stuff about, say, three weeks ago. And I saw this book, and I really the color really drew my attention. Nice bright green. But uh, the other thing that I saw was something that I had been doing for several years, or at least the last two. On page 22 of this book, uh, he shows a rocking exercise, basically where you're getting on your heels, extending your arms, okay? Now, <clears throat> this is something that I've been doing for a couple of years and I actually documented on video in something called the over the barrel exercise uh, about a month and a half ago. And I had never seen this book before. I just want you to know that I have the receipt. I know when I bought it. There's one thing that I see that I would do differently on page 22, and I'll get into that in a minute. The thing that he addresses in this book that I really appreciate and that uh, kind of helps mesh some of what I've been trying to do is that there's this thing that gets into the mind, okay, at moments that take us out of the moment. We could call it the sentient being, we could call it consciousness, we could call it uh, any a number of things. And I'm not a scientist, I'm not a psychologist, I have no degree. Okay? But this is the one thing that we must address as golfers if we want to go to the next level. I'm self-admittedly a streaky player. I have people that I play with that have seen some of the greatest shots they've ever seen and some of the worst. I am no different than anyone else. All right, I had to reset the camera, but as I was saying, I'm no different than anyone else. I understand this. I have empathy because I am it too. Now, uh, boy, I lost some of my train of thought of what I was going to say. But like I said, I'm a self-admitted, streaky player. Hit some of the greatest shots, some of the worst shots you've ever seen. Completely fallible. Holy subject. And God knows I am able to embody the sentient being. Okay. I find golf to be an outlet for me to channel those things, those challenges in my life. And I think that we can use golf as a way to channel maybe frustrations of everyday life, okay? We can channel those things and have an, an aesthetic release which helps calm those things. So what I'm, I'm trying to draw attention to is the fact that we must use the mind, okay, to release the mind. That's the paradox of golf. We have to, we have to use it to release it. Now many of you may say I'm overanalyzing and perhaps I am to a certain degree, but all of my efforts are directed at taking all those things and all those components and elements, okay, and bundling those up into a tiny little ball, okay, and crushing it and bringing it right to the center of the body. And you just put a little stone in there of all those things and all those frustrations and all those angers okay, and crush them so that there's peace out here. Once we can get to that spot, now it is the moment becomes ripe. The apple can fall from the tree. The snow can fall from the branch. Okay, this is the Zen moment. Um, and <laughs> practitioners of Zen would probably disagree because I'm, I'm not trained in the Eastern philosophy per se under a master, etc., cetera, etc., cetera. But ultimately, it is the taking of all those sentient things and bringing them in and then releasing them. And that's what the golf swing is. It is a pure release. So what I'm doing is, as I was saying, a self-admitted street player, I'm taking those moments, those perfect moments, and I'm looking at what 
is it about that moment that is different from other moments, which may be the skull across the green, fat out of the sand trap, bone into the water, chunked short of the green, etc., etc., right off the tee. What is different in those pure moments from those other moments? And that's really the, the basis of my inquiry. That is really the, the very heart of what everyone's inquiry should be. And there's nothing wrong with making this inquiry. And in fact, if you don't make this inquiry, golf will really have no meaning ever, ultimately, to you.